George here, he was a World War II veteran, died in Iwo Jima. Rest in peace, sir. Welcome everyone, Rob the Bruce here. I'm at the cemetery here. And the interesting thing about it is, there's a cemetery on each side, but there's a train tracks that run through here. Thought it was interesting. Another veteran here. And then look at this old monument. It's the cross and like almost like a bell on the bottom of it. There's the train peeking through the woods. We get this old grave. I like that when they have the pictures of them on there. Here's some old boxcars. I'm not quite sure how old they are, but if you know, let me know in the comment section how old you think these are. They've been abandoned for quite some time, it looks like. They have like wooden paneling on it for where they used to put some signs or something. But I would say at least 40 years old. Well, 40, 40 years that they've been abandoned, but I could be wrong. Got some cargo trains here, much newer than those other ones. So these ones are definitely being used. And then over here, it looks like an old racetrack or something was here. I don't know if they tore out the, the, old, the other part of the track, but that's what at least I think it was. Only a year old, like Elmo on there. 1924 to 25, Rosemary Lebu Lebu. So sad. Pretty big cemetery here. Chipmunk there. He was in the Army Air Forces before it was called the Air Force, just regular Air Force. But he was pretty young when he was in World War II. Ended in, it ended in 45. So he was in his 16, 17 years old. He was in the Navy. So he was 17, 18 years old how young they were to be in World War II to see what they saw. All these crypts. This is in the newer part of the cemetery. So these must be a relatively new thing that they've constructed. It must not have been a really a thing except in New Orleans a long time ago. But you're seeing it more and more now. Got the I'm not sure if that's all that's their sons and that's them now and that's their daughter looks like their son passed away and he was in World War II US Navy interesting 
Must be where they pile all the dirt after they dig them up or dig their grave. Yeah, definitely not dig them up, but just dig their grave. Pretty tall. Another World War II, U.S. Navy, 1924 to 2017, William B. Hicks. And there's their crypt. Above ground burial, I'm assuming. They just put the caskets right in there. Not sure why they wouldn't want to be buried, but I'm sure there's good reasons. I bet you've never seen a grave like this. Maybe they went to the pyramids and loved being by the, loved anything with pyramids related. So they had their grave like a pyramid. Definitely never seen anything like this. I don't know if they've died or not yet, but very interesting. Must have liked hunting when there's a bull. Then there's like a log cabin. Maybe he was a hunter that liked the Great Pyramids in Egypt. And looks like the, his wife and him are buried here. Interesting. Here's some old railroad tracks, abandoned, as a car passes by. World War I veteran, next to a World War II veteran. And then I saw this in the distance. Must be a Green Bay Packers fan. With a basket on the tree. With a nest in it. That's it for today. I will see you on the next video. Or on the shorts. Or wherever you may be. Vlog over.